I would say, generally speaking, I rely on the recommendations of our Ambassador Crocker here and General Petraeus and the other leadership on the ground here. I think that's probably appropriate to do since they have the best uh, assessment. And, uh, and my initial assessment, and we'll wait till, till uh, they s testify on April the 8th before Congress is that uh, we probably should hold with 15 brigades for a while and see how the progress goes. There's a big fight going on up in Mosul right now and uh, although it's progressing I think it's Al-Qaeda's, if not Al-Qaeda's last stand, it's Al-Qaeda's place where they feel that they need to keep Mosul in order to survive. This is your eighth visit to Iran? Based on what you've seen on the ground and as you travel to Mosul, to Ramadi, Al Anbar, your conversations with General Petraeus and others, do you see an end in sight or is it too soon to see an end in sight? I, I, I've always seen the end. Uh, how closer we are to that um, is significant progress. But again, we found out last week, as you know, the, the casualties spiked up. Tragically, we sacrificed 12 young Americans. And so they are on the run, but they're not defeated. And there's large areas of this city we're in right now that uh, the neighborhoods are safe. Uh, I was in Haditha yesterday. We walked down the streets with no body armor on. People were out. Uh, but there's significant police presence and there's still U.S. military presence. So um, a lot of progress has been made. When Harry Reid and the Democrats said the war was lost last April, they were wrong. They were dead wrong. Now, the question is, will we be able to continue that progress to the point where the Iraqis take up more and more of those responsibilities and we withdraw? We're not, we're not there yet, at least in my assessment. Well, today back home, one of those Democrats, Senator Clinton, who could be your opponent in the fall election, is giving a speech in which she's saying if she is elected president of the United States, she will start bringing home the troops within 60 days. Well, all I can say is that she obviously does not understand nor appreciate the progress that's been made on the ground. She told General Petraeus last year when he testified that you'd have to suspend disbelief in order to believe that the surge is working. Well, the surge is working. Uh, so I just think what that means is Al Qaeda wins. They tell the world they tell the world that, and uh, we fight here again and around the Middle East and. Their dedication is to follow us home. Um, all I can say is that this will be a big issue in the election as we approach uh, November because uh, at least a growing number of Americans, though still frustrated and understandably so, believe that this, tr this strategy is succeeding. And what specifically have you seen on this trip to f advance that argument for you? Because what you just said is mm -hmm. things you've been saying for months back home. You can go home now and as a senator and as a candidate, mm -hmm. say what new based on what you've seen and heard? Well, entire neighborhoods of Baghdad are, are quiet. Uh, the Iraqi military continues to grow. The military police, I mean, the, the police force is growing. There's, I, I, I could run down a long list of problems with you, among them either failure to declare pro provincial elections, oil revenue sharing, uh, there is still corruption in areas, uh, particularly among Shiite uh, parts of the government. There's a couple of people that should have gone to trial that didn't uh, in the last week or two. But when you look at what's happened over the last year, in the view of most objective observers, it's a pretty remarkable improvement.